States have sex offender registry sites, but now there's a new registry making headlines. This one is for convicted animal abusers. CBS 2's Emily Smith explains. With so many cases of animal abuse, animal abuse registries are a hot topic. Yet the only state with one that's public is Tennessee. But now, New Jersey could follow suit if Assemblyman Troy Singleton has his way. The legislation would require convicted animal abusers to register. And anyone would have access to the information by going to the Garden State's Department of Health website. Sounds like a good idea to many animal lovers, but it's getting mixed reviews. This might be a good thing. Oh, definitely. If we're going to protect the animals. Well, sorry, yeah. There could be any mistake one time in the life. Ed Wengren, a research associate with New Jersey Farm Bureau, feels the bill should only list people who have been criminally convicted, saying it's unfair for civil complaints. If somebody was taking care of a neighbor's pet and that pet died and the neighbor sued them, then you would end up on the registry and that we find problematic. New York City implemented an animal abuse registry in 2014, but it isn't available to the public. It only allows animal related businesses and organizations to access it to screen potential employees. Employees and customers. People who appear on the registry are forbidden from owning or having physical contact with animals for five to ten years. If the bill passes in New Jersey, the names and faces behind the abuse would be open to the public, just like in Tennessee. It would prohibit convicted offenders from having a pet for two years or working with pets. I don't think pet stores are checking who could own a pet, but more importantly, it's who could work with animals. The Center for Constitutional Rights says this is a form of public shaming, can be full of errors, and rarely works. A spokesperson says, quote, some of the reasons people want this kind of law are well meaning but it doesn't do what it sets out to do. The bill still needs the approval of the Assembly and Senate and would then need the governor's signature. In Trenton, New Jersey, Emily Smith, CBS 2 News.